Hello everyone, we will start with our first cross application that is BAPI. In the previous video, we studied what is cross application and we took one requirement which we will achieve through BAPI with IDOC interface and we will firstly start with BAPI. The full form of BAPI is business application programming interface yes it is a interface BAPI is a interface that enables the external access external system access to the business process of sap system we will understand this point suppose we have so many business process in the SAP system. Suppose we have sales order business process. We have material business process. We have billing document business process. So with the help of BAPI, in SAP system, we have BAPIs available. Suppose there is a BAPI for create sales order. There is a BAPI for change sales order. There is a BAPI for create material. There is a BAPI for change material. So what external system is doing? External system is getting the access of those business process through BAPI only. External system will send that data to those BAPIs and BAPI will create all those things. Suppose this external system is sending that data to create sales order. Then this create sales order, BAPI is creating the sales order. So with the help of BAPI only, this external system is getting the access to business process of the SAP system. Now, an external system can be your SAP system. It can be non-SAP system. It can be SAP system or any other system which is using any programming language. It can be Java, it can be VB, it can be C++. So the external system can make a call to the BAPI. Now, BAPIs in the SAP system are always, always implemented as function module. What is the meaning of implementation? Means we will write the logic. So whenever in terms of logic, we will always write the logic in the function module. Now, maximum people think that BAPI is normal, normal, a function module. That is not the right understanding of BAPI. Yes, BAPI is a function module having a business object. If there is no business object, that is not called as BAPI. So BAPI is a function module. And if we are able to create a business object of that function module, only in that case, it is called as a BAPI. Or we can understand in a way also, yes, function module is a BAPI if that function module has a business object. If that function module do not have a business object, it means it, it is not a BAPI. Now, once we will create the function module, then we will create the business object. Once we create the business object, then our BAPI will be defined in the business object repository. And maximum time people will simply tell this as BOR. So once we will create the business object also of that function module, it will be defined in the business object repository. And once our BAPI will be ready, we have a dedicated transaction code. That transaction code is BAPI. Which is, which is called as the transaction code for BAPI Explorer. There you can check your BAPIs. In the future, after creating the BAPI, 
we will check into this particular transaction code. If I will show you that transaction code, if I will go to BAPI transaction code, this is the BAPI transaction code, which is a transaction code for BAPI Explorer, which is called as BAPI Explorer. And here we have two tabs, hierarchical and alphabetical, yes, where we will check our BAPIs. So we will just revise what we covered in this particular video. BAPI is a cross application. Yes, the full form of BAPI is Business Application Programming Interface. With the help of BAPI, the external system can get the access to the business process of the SAP system. External system will send the data. BAPI will create those things. It means external system is getting the access to the business process of the SAP system. External system can be your SAP system. It can be non-SAP system, which is using any language. It can be C++, it can be Visual Basic, it can be Java, any language. Now, BAPIs are always implemented as function modules. It means we will always, always write the logic in the function module. Now, BAPI is not, not a function. BAPI is not simply a function module. BAPI is a function module having a business object. If there is no business object, it means that is not called as BAPI. Once we will create the function module, then we will create the business object. After creating the business object, we will find the entry into business object repository, which is called as BOR. Now we have a dedicated transaction code, BAPI, which is for BAPI Explorer. After creating the BAPI, we can check into this particular transaction code. In the next video, we will start creation of our own customized BAPI because we are taking our own requirement. We, will, we took our own requirement that we will migrate the employee data. For that purpose, we will create our own BAPI. And in the next video, we will start with the practical part of that. So that's it in this video. Thank you.